Hello friends, this is Praveen Shogastra and today we are going to learn about how to create a quiz in Moodle. But before we start into the process, let me tell you that creating a quiz is actually a two step process. Step 1, to create the quiz activity and set its options which specify rules for interacting with the quiz and step 2 where we actually add various questions to the quiz activity we have created. This is the first video tutorial of two video series and this will teach quiz creation in Moodle dealing with step 1 only. For the second video we will create another video which will tell about how to add questions to this quiz. To start with we have to open a web browser and type our Moodle Cloud site name here. For example, mine pravindit.moodlecloud.com. You will come to this page, type your username or email and give the password. Press the login button. Now you will come to the dashboard where if in case we have created the courses beforehand that will be visible to us there are certain courses which are there so now what i will do is that i will select any one course so let's say we want to go for industrial training course and we want to give the quiz here the industrial training so we will click on industrial training we will have the options the week setting is there so per week is visible to us so we will put the editing on so that we can edit and we can add the quiz to it right so now we can add quiz so let's choose this week 19 december to 25th december add an activity or resource click on this a new window will come which will give you a list of activities and further list of resources so we have to click on quiz which is available under the activities here so heading so as soon as you click on quiz you will find that the information about the quiz and what quiz may be done with the quiz is available so click on add and you will be directed to a new page where you have to give the setting for the quiz so adding a new, new quiz to 19 december to 25th december this is the week we have chosen. So you can give the name to the quiz. Let's say FTP1. A description of the quiz. Basic. Checking. Of quiz. Right. Now whether we want this description to be visible on the course page, if in case yes, we click. In case we do not want, we have to uncheck this. So let us say we need this. Next, we have to give the timing. Click on that. You will find that there are five options. Open the quiz, close the quiz, time limit, when time expires, what to be done, and submission grace period. So open the quiz means you can give the date and time when you want your quiz to be visible. So you can give let's say 25th of June 2018 at uh, 14.32. So quiz will be available at this period of from this period of time. So now you can also give the option that when quiz will close or if in case you don't want the quiz to be closed, you can let it be open. So let's say we want it to be closed and it should be visible only for few days. So let's Thirtieth June at 11.32 the quiz will close. So no one can attempt the quiz after this period of time. Now when the students are appearing the quiz, in case we enable this time limit, so we can give how much time we can spend on the quiz, 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes, what will happen? Here we have to give. So if in case the student fails to submit the quiz by 10 minutes and the attempts are open, it will be submitted automatically. Or a grace period can be given to this open attempts to be submitted, but here no more questions can be 
answered by the students or attempt must be submitted before time expires and if in case a student fail to submit the attempt they are not counted generally it is open attempts are submitted automatically now if in case you want to give some grace period you can give this so when you select this option you can increase the grace period but let us go for open attempts are submitted automatically right next we have option to give the grades so grade category and categorize grade to pass let's say give one attempts allowed we can give one to unlimited so we can give one attempt so if, as soon as you give one attempt you will find that this <coughs> is blocked highest grade so one attempt it means that the highest grade will be recorded but if in case you have more than one attempt let's say we give four attempts so we have more options we can give average grade average of four of the first attempt or the last attempt whatsoever you feel like so let us give four attempts and let us give the highest grade as a grading method next comes layout so new questions new page for every questions or two questions in a page three questions in a page four questions in a page so yes so you can give this options so that whether you want that one question should be displayed at one page or more than one question it's purely your choice now question behavior shuffle within the question yes or no this means that whether you want that the same question same pattern of the question same series should be repeated for every student or for the next attempt of a student or you want to give a different series for example question 1 comes at question 5 and question 3 comes at question 1 so whether it will be shuffling or whether it not it will not be shuffling it's purely your choice you can give and how your question will behave what kind of feedback you are going to give certainty based marking you are going to give or you are going to give default feedback or immediate feedback so you can choose you can select from the various options available now come to review options there are n number of reviews which can be given so that most of them will be given appearance how you would like the appearance of the users so you show the user picture no image or small image or large image display places and grades to then you want to add some extra restriction on attempt for example you give a password you want only 10 students to give this uh, quiz so you can click to get a password and once you give the password you share this password with these 10 students and they are the one who are going to appear in the quiz by using this password so other students who are not having this required password they won't be able to appear the quiz hence this is a restriction which will be imposed by the teacher then overall feedback for example a student has got 100% what will be the feedback of 50% or 30% you can add more feedback fields and you can give this to the you can give further feedback to the student at for example yes here are three more fields are added similarly you can add more and you can give the boundaries of 40% what kind of feedback at 30% at 50% the student should get next is common module setting once you click here you will find that whether you want to have group of separate groups or a visible group so you have to you can give the group id and this will be visible to group a and not to group b so you can do all this setting with this common module setting you can add more uh, restrict access you can add more restrictions in case you feel like you can click on add restriction and you can prevent access until or specified date and time for example when we at what time we want the quiz to be available the grade the student have to reach to achieve a specified grades user profile and description set so this is all up to you whether you want to add this restrict access or not then come tags you can add certain tags for example if in case you want to add a tag like quiz a tag like a, a fdp quiz so it will be easy for you to recognize this quiz at the later period of time then competencies when the student have achieved completed the quiz what will happen you do nothing you attach evidence you send it for review or you complete the competencies again up to your personal choice what you want to do how you want to make your quiz end just a revision adding a new quiz to 19 december 25 december give the name give the short description 
tick it if in case you want this description to be visible. Don't check it if in case you don't want it to be visible. Timing, you can give the timing to open the quiz, to close the quiz, the time limit for the portal quiz to be appeared. Then when time expires, what to be done and the place period if in case you want to give it. Then how the grades will be given, categorized, will be uncategorized, then what pass, how many attempts and what will be the grading methods. Then layout, how many questions in a single page that you can also give. Then whether you want your questions to be shuffled for the next attempt or for different students or not and what kind of feedback you are going to give, how the questions will behave, then various reviews options which are there, which you want, which you don't want, you can just uncheck them. Then appearance, whether you want the user's pictures to be have image, large, small or no image, then the display places in grade, whether you want to, don't want. Then if in case you want to add certain restriction, you can add the password here, you can just enter the password, so you can share this password with group of students whom only you want that should appear in the quiz. You can give feedback to your student, those who are carrying different percentage, so for 100% of feedback, 50%, 70%, 30% different feedbacks to the students. Then if in case you have a group, you can have common module setting for the groups, group A and B, and the questions will be, everything can be done and the questions will be visible to a group whose ID number will be given by you. Further, you can add more restrictions. You can add the restrictions here by going to add restrictions and then tag you can give for example I said that FDP quiz or learning quiz or whatsoever then competency is what you will be doing once the activity is complete so once you are through with this save and display click on this option And you will find that this page will be created FDP1 basic checking the quiz attempt allowed for so all this setting the quiz will not be available until, until Monday the quiz will close at Saturday time limit 10 minutes waiting method all these settings have been done by us but still we have to add the questions which we have not done so this settings is to be done by us before we start adding questions to the quiz so we can go back to the course where now it should be visible that we have an FDP1. Yes, here it is. FDP1 basic checking of the quiz, and this has been made by us. So, this is now visible under the week we have chosen. Thank you for watching this video, and in the next video. We shall be discussing on how to add the quiz, a different kind of quiz, which will help us in making the quiz more interesting. Thanks once again.